Hello and welcome to what could be the last episode of After Arsenal, the save where I attempt to keep Arsenal as a big club, top of the table, and it's all gone very horribly wrong over the last couple of weeks. Let me tell you a story. We were last together for the free all draw against Man City. They scored two goals in the dying seconds of the game to make sure we lost that get, didn't win that game. We drew that one. Then we played Brighton. We were one 0 down in the first minute. Jose Antonio Reyes with the goal in that one. So I show off a little bit of flesh. We went three one up. Icardi, Walcott, and Sanchez with the goals, and they scored in the last minute. Took okay, out sure we only left Brighton with a point. Then we played against Stoke, and we got a one-all draw in that one. Pressure was starting to build. We then had a 2-0 victory away at AA Ghent in the Europa League. And Lacazette was two goals in that one. And then we lost our first game since August. Nearly four months of football before a defeat. And boy, was it a fantastic defeat. We lost 6-1 to Huddersfield. Dominated the first 25 minutes, couldn't score. They scored two quick goals. We then had Kalasniak getting injured, which meant we had no left back on the pitch. So I put Starari at left back. They then scored a couple of goals. I then decided to change the formation to make it very narrow. And they just picked us off. So ultimately, the board don't like me. We should be performing better. The squad have lost all faith in me whatsoever. Where's the screen? Dynamics. There's real concern that players are losing faith in you. They'd hate me. They do not like me whatsoever. If we lose to Burnley, which is today's game, I am very certain I will be sacked. So, enjoy. So, the side for this Burnley game is check in goal. Bellerin at right back. De Silva at left back. That is Josh De Silva coming in because Kalashniak and Monreal are both injured. Koscielny at centre half with Mustafi, with Coquelin and Wilshire in the midfield. Walcott, Ozil, and Sanchez are attacking trio and Lacazette up front. So, defeat today, and we are. We are departing ways from the Emirates. I think a draw potentially we might be as well. Nothing short of a victory is what we need today. So we've only lost once in the past four months. And we're in danger of losing our job. I think that's a little bit harsh, personally. But that is what is I imagine what that is what Premier League management is. As I get myself comfortable. The first half an hour, not a lot has happened. Brady with a free kick played in and Czech makes a lovely camera save. And he looks to build from the back. Knocks it long. Walcott picks it up and we lose the ball. I haven't really changed anything tactically because I don't really know what to change it to. My problem is I've got three star players in my side. I've got Sanchez, Ozil and Lacazette. And to pick those three in, that means you're going to be playing with a wide player, an attacking midfielder, and a striker. That limits you tactically what you can really do. So it's really a 4-2-3-1. For me, that's how much I know tactically. So that's what I've been trying. And it was working, and it has worked. We've done really well to a point. In Europe, we are unbeaten. We've won every game in Europe. In cup competition, we haven't lost a game. And that could have been a foul, but it wasn't. Ben Mee. Nothing much really has happened in this game as we approach the 40 minute mark. As better in on the ball, Ozil, Walcott, back inside to Coquelin, Wilshire. Looks up who's available to him, shoots over the bar. So we've had eight shots, two on target, they've had nothing, and we haven't scored. We're just not putting the ball in the back of the net. Big problem, and we're conceding goals. So we've got two big problems. We can't score, and we can't stop conceding. Lacazette hits the post. Cleared away. Dominating the game as we approach half-time. Ozil, long, long, long. Walcott off the post and in. Theo Walcott scores just before half-time. He had two bites of the cherry. Ozil's free kick to the back stick. He hit the post, and it was well saved by Heaton, actually. And he just managed to force the ball home. Absolute domination from Arsenal in that first half. And we lead 1-0.
not changed anything at half time. Just wanted to keep doing what we're doing. Lacazette into Coquelin. Looks out wide. Theo Walcott, the goal scorer. Can he get to the byline and plays it in? He does, and it's cleared away. So we are, as I say, we are dominating this game. A second goal will probably give us the three points, a much needed three points. Burnley are one of these sides that have got the ability in them just to nick a goal. Always like Burnley, though Sean Dyche always puts out a decent side. Like I said, he's having a very poor game. I'm going to bring Danny Welbeck on. Nope, I'm going to bring Danny Welbeck on and not click on undo. There we go. Done it. Half hour to go. No, not 20 minutes to go. Wilshire plays it in. Welbeck shoots and scores. Danny Welbeck, sensational strike, sensational goal. Off the crossbar and in. I've said it before, but that should win us the game. I said it against Man City, and <laughs> you remember what happened if you watched the episode. Make a change. Going to bring on Arthur for Ozil. And we're going to bring on Stuani for Coquelin as well, just to see out the game. Fresh legs, final 15 minutes or so. So we've probably we won this game. We needed to win, absolutely certain, to make sure I've got a job, which we look like we have done. I will carry on to after the game is finished, just to see if I've been sacked. I would hope I haven't been sacked after getting three points, but we'll see how it goes. The end is relatively nigh, I suspect. I would imagine I'm not going to be allowed a defeat, possibly even a draw over the next couple of months, couple of weeks even. The next game I potentially want to show you is Danny Welbeck puts us 3-0 up with a late, late goal. Will be the Liverpool game. We've got around Boxing Day. I think it is the 26th. It might even be the 23rd. 26th or 23rd, we've got Liverpool at home. That was the game I intended to show you when we ended the last one. But as we are falling apart at the seams, I wanted to show you this one to see if this was the last game of the series. So the next episode will be the Liverpool game, or it will be a very short one saying I've been sacked. But we'll see how that goes. As I say, we will just carry on after the game before completely ending the episode. As I try and feel before the game ends. It has ended. We have won that game, which is good. Complete domination for, from us. A goal just for half time, a goal just for the end with a Danny Welbeck goal sandwiched in between. We are at a minimal of 10th. Let's see what happens next, shall we? So the game has ended. We have saved. We've carried on. We haven't been sacked, as it sounds. Mustafi has picked up a knock. Going to be out for the next five days. We are currently in 7th position. So we are in the Europa spots, or in contention for the Europa League spots. 26 points from 17 games. So I will continue with this save and will update you as and when there is an update. As I say, it will either be the next game, which will be Liverpool at home on the 23rd, or it will be a very short video saying, I've been sacked. We'll still see what happens. So if you've liked the episode, please do leave a like. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. I've been the FM Novice and I'll talk to you again very, very soon. Thank you very much and have a good evening.